the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome to the latest episode of Bizarre Yet Bonafide. If you're here, it means that you, too, wish to delve into the unexplained mysteries that pierce our understanding of the world and maybe just maybe, discover the devastating truth behind them. Welcome, welcome one and all to our devastatingly unpopular podcast. You're in a good mood. I just enjoyed your dramatic opening. Don't be gross, Anton. What the hell? That doesn't even make sense. So, last week we explored a report of a dead body in the woods found by some kid who was underage drinking with his buddies. Firstly, false report. And second, you don't know they were underage drinking. That's libel. Oh, come on. How did you spend your nights when you were 15? Playing video games with a glass of warm milk, if you must know. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. Shut up. And by the way, we don't know it was false. We just know that the body he claimed to see was gone by the time he returned with the police. I remember, yeah. Pretty sus. Pretty sus indeed. Well, guess what? I reached out to that kid. Disclaimer, we do not condone stalking minors online, like at all. He's adamant he saw a body. Listen to the message he sent. I remember the smell. It was kind of sweet, but like in a bad way. I was super freaked out and just ran back to the others. When I showed the cops where I found it, the body was gone. They said I was lucky they didn't book me for time wasting. It got me real worried because my girlfriend's going to summer camp around the same area. And if there's something killing people out there, I don't think she should go. Do I need to remind you of the boy who cried wolf? Notice the way he phrased it. Something out there. And I'm not talking wolves. I'm talking cryptids. Okay, here we go. Yes, cryptids. Creatures of the deep. Menaces of the wild. Basically, animals that don't exist within the realms of what we know to be real. Loch Ness Monster. Bigfoot. Werewolves. Yeti. Or that don't exist at all. Probably the biggest name out there. You all know him. You all love him. It's America's Sweet Squatch. That's right. It's Bigfoot. Oh, he's an A-lister cryptid, all right. He's pulling in for the crowd. Racking up them followers. Dishing out that content. Soaking up that hashtag ad revenue. He's... Go with it. Big. What? (laughs) That's it? It's in the name. I know. Anton, not you every just landing said his gets name. stuck. If I were an Olympic athlete, I would lose points for that. I realize that. Okay, Anton, stop getting distracted. How can I keep you safe from this magnificent beast if you don't have all the facts? How about I just stay out of the woods? Time to learn about Bigfoot, or biggest footus, as they say in Latin. Absolutely, they do not. Here, read this. Bigfoot is considered by cryptozoologists as a species, not an individual cryptid. It is thought to be a hairy, ape-like humanoid that stands up to 10 feet tall. Most sightings have been in the Pacific Northwest and North America. They communicate through howls, screams, moans, grunts, and whistles. Variations of ape-like creatures have been spotted all over the world, known as skunk ape, wood booger, yeti, and many more. Skunk ape? Skunk ape? That's unnecessary. Imagine just going about your business thinking your name's Gerald or Steve just to find out the world's calling you skunk ape. No wonder he's attacking people. I'd be pissed too. That's assuming he understands English. Like, skunk ape in Sasquatch language might be like... Do that again? Surprisingly close. I was impressed too. Okay, what's his weakness? How do I kill a Bigfoot if it ever comes to blows? Protect me, Grace. You should never kill a Bigfoot. They have feelings and families and hopes and dreams. Also, I'm not sure there are specific ways like a crucifix on a vampire or silver and wolfsbane on a werewolf. I think you're bearing the lead here. If there was a body, which there wasn't, it's way more likely it was the work of some machete-mad serial killer or something. Listen, thousands of people have vanished in national parks in recent years. Something big has got to be afoot. If not big foot, maybe Wendigos or the Knicks? I know I'm gonna regret this, but what is the Knicks? The Knicks has got some serious issues, my friend. It's an aquatic humanoid that lures kids to water and drowns them because it's lonely. Most active on Midsummer's Night, Christmas Eve, and Thursdays. Wait, 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 Thursdays? Yeah, 
Maybe Thursday is the Nix's Friday. Like, after a long, tough week at work, he just wants to let his hair down, maybe drown some kids. Three-day weekend, baby. Okay, so the Nix is not someone you'd want to go for a beer with. Yeah, I'd say, even as a single girl, I wouldn't go for a drink with the Nix. But Bigfoot, what? I mean, what the hell? Yeah, I mean, of course, yes. I would, you, yeah, with of Bigfoot, course? yeah. Of course you'd date Bigfoot, even though you suspect him to be... I mean, he's uh, like, he's tall, which like really ticks the box for me. That's huge. Also, like, how fun would it be to have like a boyfriend that you could call Woodbooger? Even though you suspect him to be the culprit behind bloody murder, you need to raise your standards, dude. I bet it was a misunderstanding. Maybe a Bigfoot came across a human, attacked them out of fear, then just booked it because he didn't want to do hard time. Big feet are not aware of our judicial system. How could you possibly know that? I also read that they bury their dead, so they might bury anything they kill too. I think I know where this is going. Yep. The missing body in the woods. What if it didn't disappear? What if it was buried by Bigfoot? You've got to think outside the box here. And by the way, there's loads of other evidence of Bigfoot too. Get this, miners, and we're not talking about the one that I DM, right. in the 1900s reported being attacked by ape men. And in the same year, a US citizen was kidnapped by a family of Bigfoot for six days. Plus, a man in Georgia claims to have smelled a Bigfoot. Okay, so Bigfoot smells like shit. You still want to date him. The real issue is whether he'd want to date me, if I'm being honest. I'm not his type. It's a known fact that Big Feet are actually sexually attracted to cows. No way. I'm shutting this down. Bigfoot being sexually attracted to cows is where I draw the line. If only I could look like a cow and get a Bigfoot. Nope. Oh, how about this? Maybe a Bigfoot romanced a cow, and that's how the sheep squatch was born. The what? The sheep squatch. It's another cryptid. White fur, big teeth, curly horns. In what world do you expect me to believe in a sheep squatch? How bad would you feel if you met a sheep squatch one day, and it said, you didn't believe in me? All this time, I believed in you. So are they killing people in the woods too? Maybe this poor person the kid saw came across a sheep squatch and thought it was just a sheep. But really, it was a squatch. A squatch in sheep's clothing. Well, regardless of your crackpot theories, I now need to go away and forget I ever heard Bigfoot, Romanced, and Sheep Squatch in the same sentence. Which is probably a good place to leave it for today. By the way, I'm saying hell no on the cryptid thing. Or the body at all, for that matter. I still think this kid was lying, probably to impress his friends. Well, I've got an idea. Oh no. He said it was a woman, right? I'm gonna run a check on all missing females from upstate New York around the date this kid said he saw the body. Finally, some real life investigation. Now we're talking. Thanks for joining us, friends. See you next time. Yeah, and if you got this far, we definitely owe you seven minutes of your life back. Oh, things you say to all girls you meet. Seriously? The Quarry releases June 10th. Subscribe to the Bizarre Yet Bonafide podcast at quarrygame.com slash podcast. Rated M for Mature.